Cause she has this tea recipe. This tea recipe. Hello lovely people, welcome to Akosia's Tasty Recipe, I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, it's going to be very quick, okay? I'll share with you how to make gobe or what we call gari and beans. So please stay tuned and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cook my beans. So in a pot I added one cup of black eye beans, okay? Then I'm going to add four cups of water. Yes, very simple. So once everything goes in, I'm just going to cover and allow this to cook for 35 minutes. So after 35 minutes, I'll check on the beans and add one teaspoon of salt or just add to your taste and then mix everything together. But please check it if it's soft or it needs more water. So you just have to get one of the beans and then press it or pinch it very hard. <laughs> yeah, then you know whether it's about to be done or it's done, okay? So what I'm going to do is to use my potato masher to just mash some of the beans so that it makes it more creamy like how we have it on the street. And then once I mash some of it, I will just add a little bit of water and then allow it to cook on medium flame for about 10 minutes. Okay, so I just added a half cup of water. As we all know, beans really goes well with fried plantain. So whilst my beans is cooking, I'll go ahead and fry some plantain. I heated my oil to 180 degrees. Then I just wash and then slice the plantains and then I dropped it in the oil. As simple as that. Allow it to fry until golden brown or until you see the plantain is done. For me, I really like soft fried plantains than the firm ones with my beans so choose any one that you prefer and then go ahead and fry it beautifully okay so once the plantain is done i'll just remove it from the oil and then put it on a paper towel to soak out the excess oil okay So in Ghana, when you buy gobe on the street, they add palm oil to the beans, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and heat some red palm oil, all right? Yes, I will just add some sliced onions. You can feel free to add some grinded pepper, but this is how I like mine. And then make sure the oil also tastes good. Just add it and allow it to heat up or fry for a few minutes, for about two to three minutes, and then it's done. I will just set it aside and then go ahead and check on my beans if it's also ready. Yes, so this is the beans and then it smells good and then it's also creamy. This is how it's done on the street. It doesn't need to be really, really thick. It has to be creamy because you're going to add Gary. So it's also ready. I'll go ahead and serve. When I was in school, the guys used to call this a jinkwan because when you eat, you drink a lot of water and then you don't go hungry for the next four or five hours. This is very, very delicious and popular in Ghana and it's mostly enjoyed by the boys. They really love gobe. <laughs> So as you can see in the video, I'm just layering it up. I added the beans, the palm oil, and then I added some gari, okay? I don't know if it's called cassava flakes or anything, but popularly known as gari in Ghana and Nigeria. So you mix it. If you want more gari, you can add, but I don't like gari too much in my beans. So I just added about three tablespoons. And then I added my fried plantain and then egg that's my favorite and then some palm oil again to top up yes very simple and it was so so delicious thank you so much for watching this recipe and i hope you enjoyed it please if you did kindly give me a thumbs up please subscribe and share and please don't forget to click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload you will be notified god bless you so much for watching this recipe stay tuned for more thank you all god bless Bye. This is the recipe.